All right, so now we're going to begin our dragon eye. And we've talked about texture in the last class, of what type of texture we want to see on our dragon, how the texture looks above the eye, below the eye, as it keeps working out, um, thinking about the skin of your dragon and what the wrinkles look like and what parts, maybe some of his scales get bumpy or jagged or rough, and some of them closer to the eye are smooth or inside those wrinkles are smooth. So when you're creating your dragon eye, you want to think of the emphasis and that you want the eye to really pop out and stand out on your paper. So you don't want to make your eye too small because the focus, the main point that you want your audience uh, to see in your artwork is that eye feature. So you want to make this eye rather large and then you're going to be able to have that room to add those layers and really make your project stand out. So what you'll notice is, is you're going to get a sheet today that has a variety of different ideas on here. And these are just starting points. I don't want you to think that you have to make it all look exactly this way. Kind of pick and choose um, or come up with your own. I have several examples I'm going to show you in this video right after of what other students have made um, just in the uh, few classes um, coming up with their own styles of their dragon eyes. So you can kind of to get started pick and choose which one you want. If you want the eye more on an angle, you want it more this way, you want it fatter here, how you want those um, pupils and irises to look. So to start with, I'm going to use a pen in this video, uh, which you guys will do later, but just so it shows up, I'm using the marker. Um, you're going to start off with a pencil. So the first thing that you're going to do is you want to have the eye about the size of your hand. Now, think about placement. Do you want the eye over here? Do you want it a little bit further up? Do you want it over this way? Do you want it angled? So I might try an angled one. I'm going to measure to the uh, front of my finger, and then I'm going to measure to right at the back of my palm. So you're going to notice I have a rather large gap here, and that's how big I want this eye to be. Remember, it's the star of your show on here. That's the emphasis that we're really working on. So looking at this one, I might look more towards um, this eye. kind of has that cool little look that I'm looking for. So when I'm looking at this, I'm going to place this a little bit above so I can stare at it. I notice that it has, and I'll bring it back down, it's got this cool, like kind of sharp line here, right? So I'm going to, looking at my dot here, I'm going to do a line. About this way, right? And then I'm going to do um, uh, the curve. And I'm going to kind of have it like this, and I'm going to curve it down. Maybe I want it wider and bigger. Like this. I'm going to curve it in this way and kind of have it thicker and then that top part maybe it angles up a little bit more this way. I'm going to add this into my eye itself. And then looking back here, I kind of want to make this thick. And then I want to make this part up here thick. And thinner as it comes in closer. Okay, so here's the start of my dragon's eye. And as you can see, it's not exactly the same. Um, it's a little bit different. But um, don't worry about, so in the inside here, if you wanted to copy this eye, what you're going to do later, we're not going to fill in right away uh, the insides because maybe you don't want this black. Maybe you want this to be purple for your dragon eye. And we're going to use those oil pastels to color on the inside. So what I did is I looked at what the white shapes are and then I just drew those white shapes because then I can easily color in the rest of that. And then I made this maybe a little thicker here and maybe I'm going to look at instead of having it that thick I might actually 
make it thin in this little spot. And I'm going to turn this one into that other little bit and make it work uh, that way. So this is just the beginning and there's so much more that you can add. I want to start adding in all those really cool um, textures and lines. And maybe I look at this and go, you know what, I really like these cool horns. And I want to have it starting this way as another layer. So what you might look at doing, and I'm going to slide over here and zoom in. <clears throat> I'm going to start it nice and thick here, but I'm going to make it go thinner and thinner or smaller of those horns as I move. So the first thing I'm going to do is a rainbow, okay? And then I'm going to do another rainbow, and I do the same curve in, and that's how you make that cool eye of a horn. So make those like thorny parts as it's coming off. Different sizes, and I'm going to make it smaller smaller as I go. So you can kind of see how this dragon's eye is coming together. Kind of different and so forth. Maybe I'm going to do it this way. But then as it gets closer to the middle, I'm going to kind of have it point more towards me and I'm going to switch directions. So it's going to curve this way now. as you can see. So my dragon has these really cool sharp corners and then maybe I kind of like this look or this feature. So for this top layer I might do that little bit of organic layer. For the inside of my eye, I kind of want to add that cool feature. And I like that little star concept. So maybe I'm going to add my own style. I add in a star here instead. And then I'm going to do that cool other little layer. And maybe I'm going to draw that layer like this. And then just keep adding layers and see how it goes. Remember, you want to follow the shape of your dragon. So kind of keep following the shape of your shape of your dragon's eye until you get bigger and bigger as you go. So remember what we looked at our skin and how our skin looks smaller, tighter around our eye, but then as you go to your face, you have bigger sections of skin. So that's how I'm going to work this dragon's eye. Get inspired by others around you. Don't even have to worry about copying. Um, if you don't know what to do next, just look at something else that